Hello, welcome to episode 256. We're going to be checking if the player is moving. We did something similar in episode 240. We uh, were checking if the player stopped running. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Uh, this is from a question by PoopyPoop545. Uh, I don't know why I put that button on there. This is going to be our setup because we're going to need some objectives. What we're going to do is we're going to store their current position. And if their current position equals their last position, then they've stopped moving. And then we'll update their last position to match their current position. So let's get on. Scoreboard objectives. Add. Uh, so we'll check their. I'm just going to check their X and their Z. I'm not going to check their Y. You can add that if you want. And let's control middle mouse copy that. And we'll have the last. And it also has to be a chain always active. And control middle mouse. Let's get their Z. Or let's get a place to store their Z. And we'll copy that. And we'll put it in there. And we'll store that in last. And I also want to to run this. I don't want to run this every every tick. So let's add a timer as well. Okay, let's get rid of those command blocks. We're not going to need them again. And make sure we activate that. Okay, controller. First thing to do would be set up the timer. Controller. We will we will scoreboard players add I need a name for the fake player uh, position check timer one and that's going to be repeating and I also need to be able to reset that uh, let, we'll do it every 10 let's say every 10 execute if score position Check. Have we spelt that right yet? Yeah. Their timer matches 10 or higher. It won't get higher, but never mind. Scoreboard players reset position check timer. Okay, done. So that should never go above 10. It's 2. It's 7. It's 5. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Okay, turn that off. Right, I, I'm going to copy this beginning bit. Home, copy, and I paste it in there. So if position check timer matches 10, well, I'm going to change this to 1. So every time it resets and goes back to the beginning, we will run. We will, and I'm going to run it as all players. And I'm going to copy that because we're going to use that a lot. We're going to store the result as a score for the player because we put as a their pos x, and we're going to run data get from an entity at s. We'll get their pos zero so that's their x x value and we're going to times that by 1000 done okay let's turn that on and let's do scoreboard objectives set display onto the sidebar pos x 33725 so i should be standing this should be block 33 yeah okay and so I'm standing at 33.576 and it's times it by, by a thousand. That looks all right. Let's get rid of that. Let's control middle mouse, copy that. And we'll get their Z. Z. And the Z is two. So X is zero, Y is one, Z is two. Okay, we're saving both of those. Let's pop down a new command block. And we'll do that same check at the beginning. Timer matches one. As all players, if score for that player, pos x equals that player's pos x last. 
if score for that player pos z equals pos z last run say oh didn't put in for that player there we go run say you are not moving so this is where we're going to put the command done now we have to update the um, pos x last and the pos z last so new command block put that beginning bit in again and we will run scoreboard players operation at s pos x last equals pos x done control middle mouse pop that down there and we'll change these to z's okay let's turn it on and see what happens it is on and nothing's happening okay did we run that yes we did let's have a little look to see let's check our names is probably a good place to start so pos z last equals pos z that seems good we got the capital letters all right pos x last equals pos x that seems all right All the capital letters seem fine. Okay. Oh, what we got here? Pos Z. Pos 2. Yeah. Let's do scoreboard objectives. And we'll set the display again. Sidebar for their pos X. There's my pos X. And as a list. We will set POSX last. So now we can press tab. Oh, we've got a zero up there. So POSX last is not being updated. Let's check our name in here. We have POS big X, big L, AST. Okay. If timer matches one. As all players operation x last equals pos x. Well, that seems good. So let's check our beginning bit just to make sure. Let's just make sure this bit works. Run, say hi. Oh, well, we're saying ho instead. Okay. Well, we're definitely saying ho. Okay. So why are we not updating our pos x last score? Execute if position check timer matches one as all players run scoreboard players operation at S. We haven't. We haven't told it to update from the player. There we go. A very simple little mistake, but that could have kept us going for ages. Now if we press tab, we can see that they're both the same. Okay, so we probably made the same mistake here in pos Z as well. Yes, we did. Let's put that in there. There we go now you are not moving you're not moving you're not moving on every half a second okay if we wanted to change that to be longer all we have to do is change this time here so we could change that to however often we want to do the check change it to 20 it will check every second change it to 100 it'll check every five seconds 20 ticks in a sec okay so it's working but maybe you don't want that command constantly repeating. So let's turn that off for the moment. And I'm also going to clear the list. And I'm also going to clear the sidebar because we don't need those. We've checked them now. Can we change this so it only runs the command one time? Yeah, I'm sure we can. We just have to tag the player. So let's go in here where it's running the command. Let's go to the beginning. Execute the score matches one. That's fine. As all players. Okay, let's put in here tag equals not checked. So they don't have the checked tag. Now we have to give that tag and remove that tag. 
So I'm going to make a little space. I'm going to control middle mouse these two blocks. That one and that one. And let's get rid of them. I don't have to get rid of them, but it makes it clearer to see what I've done. I've moved them across by two. So I've got one space here to add the tag and one space here to remove the tag. So let's add the tag first. We'll start with the same thing again. If the position check timer matches one, as all players. In fact, actually what we'll do is we'll go in here and we'll copy all of this up to the run bit. Copy. And we'll use that instead. So if the timer matches one, yeah. Uh, let's remove this tag though. Uh, all players, if their scores are the same, yes, their X is the same, their Z is the same, we will run, we will tag that player at S, add, and we called it checked, didn't we? Checked. So now they've got the tag. Done. And I'm control middle mouse that command and put that in there. So let's go to the beginning. Uh, the timer matches one, yeah. And here we will say, if they do have the checked tag, and we'll change this to unless their score x equals x last, and unless their score z equals z last. And we will remove that tag instead. Okay, let's try that. Clear the chat, F3D. Turn it on. Stop moving, you're not moving. And it's only told me one time. Now we're not checking the uh, Y, so I should be able to jump and nothing should happen. Yeah. But if I start moving again and then moving, so my values are different and I stop, it checks. Okay, clear the chat. I start moving again and I stop. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that is how we check if the player is moving. And we can run the command multiple times if we want, or we can do it a little bit of a change, and we can just run the command one time. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.